responsible and intelligent. We do not need to be treated like children in our own homes. The government has no right to invade the privacy of people in their own homes. That's newly elected Clackamas County Chair Tootie Smith speaking earlier today on our Queen 6 newscast after publicly announcing her plans to defy the governor's stay home orders. And now there are some who live in Clackamas County who want her recalled before she even takes office. Let's check in with Jenny Young, who spoke with a Clackamas County man who explains why he's frustrated with Smith's message. Jenny. All right, Elizabeth. Well, Tootie Smith, she's arguing a government overreach, right? Well, the man I talked to, he's a business owner in Clackamas County, and he says she does have a valid point. However, something like that can be handled in the courts. He said this Facebook post, her disregard for these safety guidelines is a total disregard for her con the health and safety of her constituents. We were three hours into what turned into a five-hour wait when a friend of mine texted me um, the link to Tootie's post. Peter Lund was in a COVID testing line with his four-year-old son when he saw this Facebook post by Clackamas County Chair-elect Tootie Smith. And initially, I just kind of shook my head because we've seen stuff like this. Lund, a father, husband, and business owner in Oregon City, says he grew more and more upset as he thought about Smith's defiant posture against safety guidelines and the example he says it sets for the public. When I thought about the doctors and the nurses that I know, all of the parents that I know who are struggling to get by um, with their jobs and keeping their kids in school, knowing that our elected leadership was doing everything they could to keep those people in those difficult conditions, that made me mad. And it's something that inspired me to put my thoughts on paper. It wasn't long before Lund's thoughts were published as an op-ed in the Portland Tribune. In it, he says the people of Clackamas County should start collecting signatures to recall Smith. When you make a decision that is so obviously going to damage our community, going to hurt our healthcare workers, our healthcare infrastructure, going to keep teachers and kids out of classrooms, going to keep the doors of small businesses closed. Yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious that she does not deserve to be in leadership. Now that push for a recall has gained some momentum. There was a Facebook group created on Sunday called Recall 2D Smith 2021 because she doesn't give a toot about you. Uh, we have reached out to Tootie. I'll let you know when I hear back from her. Reporting live tonight in Clackamas County, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News. Jenny, thank you. Tonight